what up agents so disco back again and as promised i want to give you guys a method that i've been using for quite some time and many players use to get their expertise up rather fast and this method can work for players between let's say shade levels 1800 and up to make it useful if your shade level is like 1800 you're guaranteed to get a thousand shade points in let's say three hours doing this here's what's going to happen you beat keener and you get your watch. Your watch is going to have the exact amount of shade points as your main character has. Minus 800 for the basic watch stuff. Here I'm getting the weapon damage up, but I'm going to ignore the rest. What I'm basically going to do is just skip through the tutorials, which means I don't have to bother with uh, putting all that stuff on. I can go straight to scavenging. As you can see here, I only have what I had in New York because I haven't purchased the shared blueprints option yet from New York or from uh, Washington DC. So let's travel over to Washington DC and we're gonna go a little bit more in depth with this. So once we arrive in Washington, we're gonna be pretty broke, but we can also buy money. And we're gonna go buy the shared blueprints materials and all that kind of stuff from uh, a Nyaya over here. You basically buy two. You only have a little bit of money on you until you use a shade point or so to get money. But that's no problem. So now once I've done that, all my materials and blueprints have transferred over between the accounts. That makes all this stuff shareable. So here on this character, oh and keep in mind, when you're doing a character in New York, you don't have to start from the, uh, the main game, you just start from Warlords. And doing so, as soon as you hit level 40, even prior to beating Keener, you can use all your level 40 gear that you probably have in your stash box. So. I'm going to go ahead and buy a bunch of printer filament here. The reason I'm going to buy printer filament is it's the easiest, fastest way to expertise up weapons that you don't have expertise yet. So as you flip through your stuff, you find something in here. We're going to go with the Vindicator, which I don't even have. I haven't even obtained the gun itself, but I can get it proficient simply by using printer filament. And now is a fantastic time to do this, especially with the lower cost of materials that they've introduced in the game with Project Resolve. So all I'm doing is just throwing printer filament into these guns. Let's get the Whisper now. I haven't used the Whisper. I have it, but haven't used it. I picked it up on the season track, but by simply going down to printer filament, I can just spam this filament and get this thing proficient without firing a single shot in this weapon. And I really think people should do this before the devs do something funny because you can't really put it past them. Because guys, this is 100% a way to make the system work for you and to explain exactly how that works, let's get into the main details. Now, when you make a character, think about it like making another savings account, except that everything you had your, in your original savings account is now spread out over each other account you make. So you start with $1,000 in your account, you make a new account, you make three new accounts. Now you have $1,000 in each of those accounts, right? That's the basic premise. Beyond that, practical applications of doing something like this are something like the weekly projects. So you have weekly projects, you have daily projects, and with Resolve, they amped up the, uh, the exotic components you can get. So you can actually get 52 exotic components a week just for doing nothing on hard, and I'm gonna go into that in a bit. I just wanna finish up on this. All the components that you get, all these uh, materials, the ones you need, Action materials these can all be crafted with the exception of receiver components which come from guns but you can buy those with money from an extra character this little menu right here is in the crafting station you just go down below uh you just go to the last the bottom row and you'll find all this kind of stuff here rikers outcasts hyenas all these things are needed for crafting and upgrading gear weapons expertise whatever the proficiency here i'm just going right up with the uh the good old printer filament super easy you can see the 24s growing on the left hand side there and I'll go ahead and by the end of this video I'll be at 25 just from using printer filament alone. Everybody can do this and as I said, benefit in exotic components for doing this irrespective of whatever shade level you're at is worth it on its own. Now you have the weekly projects, right? And they updated it with two new ones. So for example, you have the daily project which will give you an exotic component. All these projects work for each of your four characters. You got the weekly that gives you three, then you got the weekly legendary, you have weekly shade requisition where, where you donate the water right below this one. You got the weekly summit project. So for one character, you can max at 13 exotic components and or exotic caches per week, but times that by four, you're up to 52. This is called maximizing your time in game. And this, as far as the exotic components and uh, exotic weapons goes, 
is irrespective of your shade level. The higher your shade level, you're simply maximizing on materials. So as I said, if you're at like shade level 1800 and you flip characters through New York, you can flip three of them and get 3000 watch points total for four characters, which is more shade than you have on your original character bottom line. So remember guys, the whole point of this video is to show players, new players, how they can maximize their time in the game, as well as veteran players who might not know that they're able to do this simple trick to take their shade level and times it by three by making additional characters. So not only will this give you bonus resources, materials, money, and so on, but you're also going to open yourself up to getting quadruple the amount of exotic components and or exotic caches that you normally would on your basic character. You're going to do these things anyway. That's the point. You're going to run five missions a day. You're going to do these five uh, activities a day. But you can maximize this so that instead of getting 13 exotic components or caches during the week, you're jumping yourself up to 52, which this is irrespective of whatever you're going to find in game. Somebody might drop something for you. You might get an exotic drop at this control point. You might get an exotic component over there. But 52, in addition to that, is fantastic. So the moral of this story, guys, is that irrespective of if you're PvP or PvE, whether you're shade level 10 or shade level 5000, do this now because this benefits all players in one way or the other, either through shade points and exotic components, or simply through exotic components. There's no reason not to maximize your time in game to milk this thing for all it's worth before it gets shut down. So pretty please from me, take some good advice, share this video, like, subscribe, the whole nine yards. But you gotta admit, if they throw you a bone, you're best to take it. Go ahead and bury it in the backyard and save it for a better day. Get your exotic components and your shade level points now for free on four characters while you can. Maximize your time in game. That's what it's about. While you're at it, join the DPS Discord. I'll put the link in the description below. If you want to talk to me directly, that's the best way to do it. Make the Discord yours. What you want, I'll give you. You want to have incursion rooms in there? You want to have legendary rooms in there? Come on in and make it your own. Just download the app, click the link. I'll see you in there. So as always, guys. Guys, the moral of the story here is work smarter, not harder. Join the Discord link, do what you want, play the game. But look, they're giving us something that we can take advantage of. So let's take advantage of it. Until then, like, subscribe, do your thing. I'll catch you on the next one. Be safe, have fun, agents. Bye-bye.